This is Sean Kelly at the 2024 Canadian Screen Awards. Most recently, I've seen you in uh, Humane, so we could talk about your role in that film a bit. Oh, thanks. Um, well, that was Caitlin Cronenberg's debut film, um, and I got to do it with Jay Baruchel. So it was really fun to like, it was kind of like doing a play, which I've never done. Okay, well, thanks. Yeah, this is amazing recognition. Uh, as, as, you, as you well know, in documentaries, uh, we work for many, many years. So I've been working uh, on this film for 10 years to do the research. Uh, it's called Beyond Paper. It's a docu feature length documentary. And um, it's uh, amazing to be here, to be able to carry the, the, the what we stand for. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, so the film is about the transition uh, between uh, paper and digital in writing and uh, also in uh, education and libraries. So I, we really travel the world to kind of make a, give an idea of what is, the, how this change uh, in technology is reshaping our memory so, and our relationship with ourselves. When you made the dirties, did you expect to be here a decade later? Uh, you know, I was so young, I was, I didn't even have a concept of, uh, of, of things like that, even a bit. No, no, I didn't think that at all. I was living day to day. Yeah. And, um, for Jay, um, would you work with Matt again? If I saw the dirties, yes, I would love to. I, if, if I did every other job I ever had with Matt, I would be a very happy man. Okay. But, but, but when he says every other, he means one that pays, <laughs> and then one with me. That's what he means by every other. Stay? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to make a book called Twice Colonized. I was colonized by the Danes first, where my language, where I lost my language and my culture. And then I moved to the Canadian Arctic, where the Inuit are also colonized by the Canadian um, state. Mm -hmm. And it, therefore I became so skilled in four languages and four ways of doing things. I think it was an amazing learning experience, expanding your ability. And it, it makes you become more humane and more understanding, mm -hmm. I think. Hi, uh, this is uh, Sean Kelly. Um, um, so I, uh, first, congratulations on your win. And um, I uh, saw Twice Colonized uh, last year when it was the opening film of the Hot Docs Film Festival here in Toronto. And um, recently, um, the Hot Docs has been having some financial difficulties, so maybe you can talk about your experience playing at Hot Docs and what you hope the future is bright for at a film festival. Hot Docs has been, uh, so my company, I Steel Film, has been uh, the beneficiary of amazing Hot Docs audiences for over 20 years. It's, for us, the most important week of the year. Uh, as, a, as a leading documentary company in the world, Hot Docs is huge um, and, and we just uh, have faith that it's going to come back together. When I read the script, it was really powerful for me to see a script that was about the mother-daughter relationship. I think we haven't really focused on that in the South Asian community and I, I think we can go further and I think this was a great step and only further deeper. Hi, uh, Sean Kelly. I'm I just w was wondering, um, was it a challenge for you to play um, two different characters in two different time periods? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, there were days where you did, uh, I did Azra, and the next scene is going to be Mariam. And I had things that I had worked on with my acting coach, which is animal work. So I do the Malwari horse and get into the body of the regalness with Mariam and then with Azra. Uh, do other embodiment work, but it was so fun to do two characters. It was a great show-off moment, you know? <laughs> I defend the idea of the collective experience. The idea that as human beings we need to share uh, uh, emotional journeys together. It's, uh, we all suffered during the pandemic being isolated. We just, uh, uh, it was a proof of that. And it's like uh, the idea that uh, when humans share uh, uh, emotions together, there's something positive that's coming out of that. There, are, there has been studies about that. The idea of how, the idea that you, uh, uh, as humans, uh, uh, it elevates the soul. And it's uh, something that uh, uh, we need. It can be with cinema, it can be with music, it can be with uh, the, um, a, a great meals together, I don't know, but sharing together is something that is essential. And I think the theatrical experience is very important. Cinema is by far the one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful art form.